I am getting flooded with messages about the OMI migration process, how to do Trust Wallet to MetaMask, and then go ahead and use the Comey swap site. Some people are losing their OMI. Some are sending it not to the wallet address, but to the Ethereum address. And so I want to address some of these things. I'm going to create a step-by-step -step tutorial. This took me so long to do many hours and because I've taken many extra steps and split it up from doing bit forex and now doing the swap site it's cost me an extra couple of hundred dollars so I hope you guys appreciate the effort that was put into this video so without further ado let me hop into the video but also in the description I'm gonna leave my address for MetaMask and my address for trust wallet just in case you're a whale out there who use this tutorial video to go ahead and swap for ERC 20 tokens do please send something my way if you can afford to do so. Okay, so if you navigate to ecomi.com, which is the official website for Ecomi, and you click on Medium, you will see that their latest article is titled Ecomi Monthly Update January 2022. So let's go ahead and click on that and see where we stand as far as their release on the current status quo of the OMI token migration. And right here you can see that they say in January phase three of the OMI token migration to Ethereum via Immutable X was completed. Applause to the team. Although it would have been nice for them to answer some of the questions that we saw floating around the Facebook groups and the Reddit groups. So if you are yet to swap your GoChain OMI token to the new Ethereum OMI token, you will need to use the manual swap site. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a tutorial on what to do if you still have OMI tokens that are Go OMI in your trust wallet and how to use the manual swap site along with MetaMask. In the lead up to the token migration, we also opened up a temporary channel under the support category in VV Discord quote get go tokens so this is interesting because before everyone used to plead and get on their virtual knees and say does anyone have any go tokens does anyone have any go tokens but now apparently you could get some in the vv discord if you have go chain omi tokens stored on your personal wallets and need some go to send them you can drop off your go chain address in this channel and one of the mods will try to help you out status update exchanges so this is really important at the time of writing this, AscendX is the only exchange to have completed the token migration. You can now only deposit withdraw the new ERC20 OMI token when using AscendX. So please do not send GO to AscendX. Both OKX and Gay.io have suspended OMI deposits and are expected to complete the swap in the coming weeks. We will update you on Telegram when we have more information on their exact dates. Bit4x has enabled trading of both the existing GoChain OMI token and the new ERC20 OMI token until such time that all tokens have been migrated. So this is what I was talking about before. Some people have wrote me and said that still, if they go into their trust wallet and they send GoChain OMI to Bit4x, they can then do the same exact process as I detailed in a previous video, which I showed how to use Bit4x to go ahead and transfer your Go chain into ERC20 tokens. And so according to this, it sounds like you can still do it, but who knows for how long. And since Ecomi does say that you should use the swap site and that's the only way to get the ERC20, I'll go ahead and concentrate on that in this video, which is going to take a long time. So hopefully you appreciate it. Give me a like, leave me a comment, tell your friends about me. Okay, this is crucial. This is the warning and advice section. Post-migration, we have seen a few common mistakes that can be easily avoided. Number one, to use the manual token swap site, you must use MetaMask. And we're going to cover that in a second. I signed up for MetaMask. I'm going to deposit some ETH. I'm going to get started. So if you don't have MetaMask, go ahead and create it. We recommend using MetaMask directly and sending OMI into your MetaMask wallet rather than importing your seed phrase from Trust or similar as the addresses can vary and cause complications. Please be patient when swapping tokens. The ERC20 OMI token will not be distributed until 50 block confirmations. This can take longer than expected, upwards of 15 minutes if the network is congested, which means a lot of people are using it. If you face any issues with the manual token swap site, please visit the support portal. Again, these links are available, so please go to medium.com forward slash ecomi and make sure that you're reading the latest article. When sending or withdrawing tokens, you must send them to an actual wallet address. 
This is often the receive address. Some users have mistakenly sent tokens to the token smart contract address and these tokens cannot be recovered. I've actually had quite a few people reach out through the contact section of my website, through Instagram, saying can I help them because they sent it to the token smart contract address. It was really, really sad to hear about it. The amounts they sent were quite high, so please don't end up being like one of these people. Make sure that you are actually sending them to an actual wallet address. Okay, so now let's go ahead and follow their walkthrough instructions on how to do this process. So right here, and I'm gonna link these articles, this is the Comey Immutable Migration Manual Token Swap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down. Okay, so step one is we install MetaMask. I'm doing it on desktop because I'm creating this video, but you could do it on your phone as well. So right here we have MetaMask. Super important, during the wallet setup, you will be asked to record your seed phrase in MetaMask. This is your ultimate backup code, and anyone with it can gain access to your accounts. Always keep this safe and away from nefarious characters, me included. So step two is add GoChain and Omi to MetaMask. Remember, this is MetaMask, and right now we could see we're on the Ethereum mainnet. But we need to add a network, and we need to add the Go network. As Omi is currently a Go20 token, you will need to add the GoChain network to MetaMask's interface before you can send your Omi tokens to it. Number one, add GoChain as a custom network using these instructions. If you need to enter a chain ID, enter 60. So let's go ahead, click on these instructions, and go ahead and follow them. So as we see here, we have to choose custom RPC. So right now, we chose add a network. The network name is gonna be GoChain. So I'll go ahead and put that in. The RPC URL is gonna be this. The chain ID is gonna be 60. Currency symbol is go. And the block explorer URL is this. Then we go to save. Okay, so then the next step is to ensure you have selected the GoChain network by selecting in the drop down box where you see Ethereum mainnet next to your current account. So now we're gonna look down here where it says import tokens because right now we're not seeing OMI, we're just seeing zero go, which means we don't have any go tokens, obviously. So we click import token and this is where we're gonna have to add this go chain OMI contact address. So make sure you copy this and when you paste it, make sure it starts with a zero, ends with a capital F. So I'm gonna go ahead, paste it here and if you pasted the correct token contact address, you'll see that the token symbol and the token decimal will automatically populate. And right here we see OMI 18 decimals. And then we click on add custom token. And then when it shows this, we simply click import tokens. Okay, so then you should see under assets that you have zero go and zero OMI. And what you're gonna do is right here, this is your address to receive payments. And you'll see something similar if you're using the mobile version. So you basically copy this and please make sure you make note of the first character and the last number or character so that when you go ahead and paste it into Trust Wallet when you are sending OMI, you can see that you pasted the right thing. And to the extent of my knowledge, this receiving address is gonna be the same whether we're on GoChain or Ethereum. So don't worry too much which network you're on, but for best practice, because we're dealing with Go Omi at the moment, switch to GoChain and make sure that you copy this to the clipboard. Go to Trust Wallet. And then as you can see here, I have the new ERC20 OMI token, 825,000 of it, but I have a million Go OMI, and that's the stuff that I'm gonna try to send over to MetaMask. So let's see if it'll work. I'm gonna go to send, I'm gonna type in the recipient address, and let me paste that. And the amount of OMI I am willing to risk to go ahead and send it is gonna be 40,000. Done. Then I'm gonna click continue. And as you can see here, the go is 0.17 to go ahead and send it. I do have that amount, so that's all good to go. So I'm gonna click confirm. And now you can see that instead of a million, I have 960,000 OMI because I sent 40,000 over to the MetaMask wallet address. So let's see what happens. So as you can see here, if I go back to my MetaMask and I scroll down, you could see that I have 40,000 OMI. And since I know that the process worked, I'm gonna go ahead and send the other 960,000 OMI. If you wanna play it safe, split it into like two or three transactions. So I could send 
460,000 Omi and then 500,000 Omi and all I want is to end up with all of my Omi that is Go from my trust wallet to go ahead and have the Go Omi in my MetaMask so that I can continue with the process of using the swap site to transfer it to ERC20. Since the 40,000 transferred successfully, I went ahead and transferred the rest. So now I have 1 million Go Omi in my MetaMask and I transferred the remainder of my Go tokens to MetaMask as well because we'll need that when swapping. Now the last step I need is I need to buy actual Ethereum because when I go to Ethereum mainnet, I have none and I'm gonna need some. So I'm planning to buy $200 worth of Ethereum. Now, if you have Ethereum in another account, whether it's on Coinbase, Trust Wallet, wherever it is, you could simply send it here. Or if you don't, you can go ahead, click buy, and you'll see a few options to buy ETH. So if you click on this, it'll probably take you through a KYC process so that you could purchase some ETH. So I'll go ahead and I will do that now. Okay, so as you can see here, I purchased nearly $200 worth of ETH. Hopefully that will be plenty enough to go ahead and swap through the site. So once I did that, let's now go to step four. Step four, we'll have to open MetaMask and ensure we're on the Ethereum mainnet. And then under the assets tab, we'll select import tokens and then select the custom token tab. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make sure we're on the Ethereum mainnet and then we're gonna go ahead, import tokens, and then we're gonna import a custom token. We'll go back to retrieve the Ethereum OMI contact address. So we'll copy that, we will paste it into the token contact address, and we'll see that it populated with OMI and the token decimal is 18. And then we're gonna click add custom token. So make sure you see OMI as the token and import the tokens. And now if we go back to account and we're looking under Ethereum mainnet, we should see how much ETH we have and how much ERC20 or Ethereum OMI we have. And if you're able to see OMI, step four is complete. So once you have Go OMI, Go tokens, and ETH in your account, then you are ready to go ahead and use the swap site. In order to do so, first switch back to GoChain on MetaMask. And then if we go back to the instructions, click on the chainswap.ecomi.com website. So we'll go ahead, we'll open that in a new window. And now it's telling you here, make sure you're using the official URL because there's a lot of scams out there. So it looks like we are, it is matching. To swap GoMe to Ethomi, set MetaMask to the GoChain network and let's see if we did that we did it's set to the go chain network and now we're going to click here connect to metamask so if you are logged into metamask it will automatically detect that and then you simply go to next and now we're ready for step six where we confirm our balances so over here so over here we could see that it says we have a little over a million of go omi we have 0.799 of go and we have 0.062 of eth so all of this looks correct so step six is complete Step seven is where you enter your transaction amount. As always, they recommend swapping small test amounts first to ensure you are undertaking the correct process. While this may be more gas intensive, it is good practice for anything crypto related. I highly agree with this and I will go ahead and do this. Okay, so once again, we need to make sure that we are on the Go Chain network on MetaMask. Then we go back and it's saying the amount that we wish to swap. So we're gonna be cautious here and we're just gonna do 100,000 and we double check that this address is correct. Then we go to swap Go Omi and over here we're gonna see the gas fees for Go. If that's all right with you, hit confirm. We hit confirm once again. Now we see the screen here that says distribution funding needed. Please change network to Ethereum to continue. We go back to MetaMask, we change it to Ethereum we go back to the chain swap site and we see that there's 0 0.0297 ETH that we need to pay. So we'll pay the fee. And over here, we got to confirm. And now you'll see this page here and 100,000 Go Omi is no longer there. However, we should be seeing it in ETH Omi, but we'll have to give it some time. So let's give it a bit of time. So it's about 10 minutes later and it's still saying right here, if you scroll to the bottom, it says status waiting for distribution. And you see here from Go Omi to ETH Omi in the amount of 100,000 Omi. Now roughly 10 minutes has passed and when I refresh the page, I could see here that it says 100,000 ETH Omi. And if I go into my MetaMask and I go to GoChain 
or I go to Ethereum mainnet, I see that I have 100,000 ERC20 OMI. And if I go to GoChain, I have 900,314 OMI. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the 900,000 OMI so that I could have a million Ethereum OMI. And yes, I am going to have to pay the fees once again. And now I recommend that before doing a second transaction, you wait until this says status complete. And it does for me, so I'm going to go ahead and swap the rest of my OMI. Okay, so some good news on my end. I successfully swapped the rest of my Go Omi tokens to Ethereum Omi, and I will confirm that through MetaMask. If I go ahead and refresh it, you'll see that I now have a million Omi in my account. So now that we have confirmed that this is Ethereum Omi because it is on the Ethereum mainnet and it does show up as Omi, we can go ahead and send this Omi to our Trust Wallet account. So in Trust Wallet, I have to be careful to click on ERC20 OMI token rather than the GoChain OMI or Ecomi. So I click on the ERC20 OMI token and then I'm going to click on Receive. And then I'm going to copy this unique address that's in my wallet right here. So it starts with 0x, ends in E8 in my case. So I'm going to copy this. I will send it to myself via Facebook Messenger or email, and then I will input it into MetaMask. And so in MetaMask, when I was in the Ethereum mainnet, I took all of my OMI and I went ahead and I transferred it to the receiving address for Trust Wallet for the ERC20 OMI token. I had to pay a fee here. It wasn't that much. And then once I paid the fee, I saw over here was rather quick that the OMI was sent and just a minute later, voila, it shows up in my trust wallet. So right here, transfer from 1 million OMI, it's in green, it was received. And so if I refresh my wallet, I see at the bottom, I have 1,825,773 OMI. And so as you can see, it says for me zero up top, and I wouldn't be too concerned with that. It's a brand new token as far as Trust Wallet's concerned. And that zero is going to change to over 10,000, hopefully, unless Omi token crashes. I should be good to go. I'm going to hold it in Trust Wallet. Maybe I will move it over to cold storage. Remember, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, this is Hot Wallets. If you want to be really safe, you can move it over to cold storage, like a ledger. Damn, it took me a long time to make this video. I am still really bullish on OMI tokens, obviously. That's why I pump a lot of time into this. That's why I stay on top of the project. It's one of the only crypto projects that I follow, aside from the larger ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. So with that being said, thanks for sticking around and watching. If I helped you out, please help me out. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Please tell your amigos about me. And if you're a whale out there or someone who has the extra OMI or extra whatever, I left my address in the description of this video. So if you want to reimburse me for some of the extra fees I had to go through in order to create these tutorial videos, go ahead and send me something to MetaMask or to my trust wallet. I promise to continue to closely monitor the project to always give you my honest feedback on what I think of the status quo of the project and when tutorial videos videos are necessary, I'm going to go ahead and create them. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Enjoy the weekend and I will see you in the next video.